you remember this video? Well, there's a really interesting story about that. They are actually Viverini Murano flute glasses. Um, and I was actually trying to sell them for really cheap until I realized they had a marking on the bottom and they go upwards of $500 USD. Uh, however, so then I put them on Marketplace and got a message straight away asking for all three of them for $500. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go deliver these pieces right now to that lady and get our money. Let's go get it. Well, just leaving now, $500 is what I got for those for those vases. If you would have seen the video, you would know how much I picked them up for. I did deliver them, um, but for that money, I'm okay to deliver them. So on the way home, we are gonna do a couple of op shops. So let's get into those now. Uh, last night, we were on um, the storage unit website and we purchased a storage unit that I'm gonna go unload right now. So fingers crossed we can get some good stuff. I didn't pay too much for this one. I know there's a fridge right at the front, so that's going straight away. I see a couple boxes in there, so let's go see what's in there. Well, I'm back doing another storage unit. Let's have a look what's in this one. <laughs> right, I knew the fridge was there, but it actually looks like there's a fair bit of stuff. Wow, okay, that's awesome. That is really cool. That's awesome. I knew this thing was in here too. This big piece here. I th I'm hoping it's like a chest of drawers because that's a really nice uh, material on that one. All right, let's get into it, hey. Oh, here we go. Sounds like something's in there. Oh, what's this? What we got here? Eight kg. I think it's eight kg. Sunnies. Mark, Mark Jacob Sunnies. It'll be alright. Well. bracelet here but it's gold filled well nothing super crazy so far um, just a couple pieces of jewelry and stuff like that I'm realizing it is a lot bigger than what I had expected um, goes wide to the back there um, and just like lots of furniture Alrighty, well, so pretty much this stuff here um, is what was probably the best stuff out of that unit. Um, however, we did sell one thing already. Um, that was that little tall boy. All right, well, this was in the storage unit. Um, we've actually just got a Facebook buyer. Come and pick this one up now. Just $50. Uh, I just need some work. So that's what we said. A couple of the pieces in there are just going to be sort of like um, uh, renovation sort of um, furniture pieces. But 50 bucks. that's uh, 50 bucks back in our pocket. Um, however, this chest is pretty cool. Um, and then we've got a coffee table uh, and then a actually a pretty good washing machine. So uh, this is probably going to get our money back just in that. So I thought it was going to be really bad, but it wasn't too bad getting this home in this area and we're able to uh, hopefully sell it. Um, however, what we're going to do, um, what we're going to do now is go to a couple of op shops, try and make a little bit more money for today um, and hopefully we can get something good that we can um, show you guys and um, yeah let's get into it also I almost forgot the giveaway so I'm gonna leave the name up on the screen right now um, who won these two games here heaps of 
uh, entry. So really appreciate you guys for putting in the effort, doing a comment. Look, it, it boosts my videos as well. So it's not only for the uh, for the giveaway. It puts me in um, that little the YouTube algorithm to get my uh, to get my channel out there. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get the channel out there, show people what we can find at Op Shops Garage Sales. And um, yeah, doing a couple of little giveaways along the way as well. So congratulations. And um, now let's get into a couple of op shops. Just had a quick stop in at the tip shop. I did look at all the clothes uh, in the bin. However, I did see this uh, Brisbane Lions uh, jacket, zip up jacket. Uh, they only want five bucks on that one. So definitely gonna pick this one up. Uh, looks to be in pretty good condition as well. So yeah, there's not much really here today. Um, but I'm gonna go to a couple of shops after this as well. So stay tuned. Well, just heading out of that one You did see me pick up that Brisbane Lions jacket uh, on the way out. I picked up these as well So there was a set of ten of these goblets um, is what I believe they're called um, And they are Selanga Pewter um, I've searched that up and a, and a set of 12 of these have, has actually gone to sell over a hundred dollars So I've got six of them only paying ten dollars uh, and then also these salt and pepper shakers, only five bucks on those ones. Uh, they are pewter as well. And then I picked up six of these little ones. They're like little shot glasses, um, paying $6 on the six of those. Um, look, not a heap of money because it's not silver. However, still should be able to sell um, all of these pretty quickly because they are really interesting. Um, finished off of that one. We're off to the next shop shop. So just a quick in and out of that one. I uh, managed to find these in this uh, five, for, five for a dollar CD section. Um, I did ask if, um, if they were all good for, um, if they're supposed to be in there. Um, but I managed to pick up this Sega Superstars Tennis. I know that one's a good one. So definitely picking up this one on the PC. Uh, and then another Need for Speed uh, Pro Street. So I ended up giving her two bucks on those three. So not a bad little pickup. So definitely pick this one up for two bucks. Well, that was an awesome stop there. Um, got everything to the counter and then saw that sign for half price everything. How good is that? I uh, didn't get this on camera, but I picked up two of these. Um, I believe they're women's, just Tommy Hilfiger uh, sort of long sleeve shirts. Uh, one is a sort of like a blue one uh, and then this is a white one uh, five dollars each on those so it just came to five dollars easy 30 bucks in that for sure backgammon i'm always picking up backgammon uh, especially for four dollars should go into around 40. now i saw a lot of comps on this the australian edition of monopoly um, apparently there's like a rare koala piece um, it does say complete so i didn't open it up so fingers crossed that, that piece is in there um, these ones here didn't pay for that. I just asked if I could just have the case um, Because I think I've actually got a game at home that I could just chuck in there um, And then this one here Super Smash Bros uh, That's complete with the manual as well two bucks on that That is probably one of the best games on the Wii if you've never played that before You turn the, the remote to the side and you just go at it. It's one of the best games um, and then picked up that whole set of um, I believe it says Solomine 
Um, it is made in Italy uh, and anything like really unique with like fruit and stuff uh, on the design, um, they should go really well. Only $10, uh, only $5 actually because it was half price. So I sh I'll make my money back just on that piece right there. So, so a really good in and out of that op shop there. We're gonna go to a couple more. Hopefully we can keep the ball rolling because that was a really awesome one. Um, I'm super excited with that one. So let's get into more. So we went to the next op shop here and $25 on a pair of Nike shoes that have a uh, very worn inside. So definitely putting those back. These ones here, these are the DC shoes, Ken Block 43. So anything Ken Block 43 at the moment uh, is going pretty well. They were $20, however, uh, like I was saying, they are going 20 old because the guy actually did pass away. So a lot of his stuff is being more collectible now. So $20, I'm not shy on picking those ones up. And just a basic pair of Adidas Oswegos. Uh, I've sold these before for about $40. So $9 into 40 bucks, uh, not a bad little flip there either. And into the clothes section, as you would have seen in my previous video, I did actually sell a Brisbane Bears jersey uh, for $80. So this one is definitely a pickup as well. Uh, it had a number 20 on the back there and it is a breast cancer awareness jersey. Well, in and out of that one, however, I did pick up this Canadian club, sold this exact one before for 40 bucks, so only paying five bucks on that. Uh, let's go to, there's one just around the corner, so let's go check that one out. Right, well, not a whole lot in that one. Uh, we did pick up this massive Sonic the Hedgehog plush, uh, Tails plush, actually, uh, and then this Supreme hat as well. I don't get run over. The Supreme hat as well, surprisingly, some crazy comps on this one. I'm pretty sure it's genuine. Uh, it has got a little bit of a damage inside it, but I was thinking I could probably just um, uh, sort of vacuum it out. Um, hopefully, it is a genuine one, because um, they go upwards of like $200. I'll put a comp on the screen. Um, absolutely crazy. So fingers crossed, I can sell this one for at least even 50 bucks. I only paid five bucks for it, so not too bad. Well, that was an awesome op shop there. Uh, just the two things, but some uh, two quality items, which is really good. The first one here is this Quicksilver watermel watermelon, <laughs> watermelon, um, sort of flannel. It's actually a really nice material. Um, got the watermelon, oh my God, watermelon. <laughs> got the waterman tag right there um, it is a good size it is a size extra large so yeah that should go really well uh, button up as well really nice and then that whoa, that awesome vintage single stitch billabong uh, this is the back of it just an awesome design there uh, that is a size medium so another great size single stitch as well hopefully you guys can see that uh, on the camera there single stitch um, three dollars on that one three bucks uh, I got a mate Finley that actually collects and sells this sort of stuff so that's going to him uh, for a trade we normally do um, like I get his old sort of like rugby stuff and he gets the uh, the vintage sort of um, surfwear so that's going to him absolutely stoked with that one uh, let's get into the next one now I noticed a bag at the back of the shop and surprisingly had some really good stuff in it so this season one to seven of the closer going for around 80 to 90 dollars uh, and had the full season there as well one to seven perfect uh, and then this criminal minds as well that's another good one uh, be on the lookout for that it goes for around 40 to 50 dollars and I had seasons one to six in that as well. So that's why you gotta look in the bags at the back. Well, that was a great op shop there. Uh, you would have seen just picking up that Katmandu. Uh, uh, 
sort of like a fleece, sleeveless jumper. Uh, and then I noticed in the corner, um, the bag full of DVDs and shoes. And I managed to pick up the full set, one to seven of the Closer. That is a great set. That's going for around 90 to $100. Um, I only paid $2 each on these. So what's that? $14. Uh, into a possible $90 flip uh, and then even these ones here this is the complete season of one to six of major crimes uh, that's another good one that's another about $50 to $60 uh, and yeah just paying $12 on that so absolute awesome uh, DVD pickup there possible $150 in return uh, including that Kathmandu uh, fleece. So that's awesome. Uh, we've been thrifting a lot lately. Uh, well guys, I just got home, unloaded everything from the car. It's been a massive couple days. Um, I've got heaps of clips for you guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, hope you enjoyed like sort of like a longer video too. Uh, I think I might start going back to the one video a week, but just putting all all the week's clips in the one video so you sort of have like a, a little movie sort of thing um let me know in the comments if if that's something you you would enjoy hopefully we picked up some good stuff that you guys all enjoyed and look if you haven't subscribed make sure you click that button so you can see more videos of this sort of stuff in the future so that's going to be it for me i hope i'll see you in the next one